find the equation of a straight line when we are given a graph that shows us some information about the line there is a step one and a step two in the process you need to use. Step one is find the slope. You use the, sl the slope formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. With the information we're given, I'm going to call this point two. It has the coordinates five, three. And this is point one, has the coordinates negative four, two. So filling in this formula, I end up with y2 minus y1 becomes 3 minus 2. x2 minus x1 becomes 5 minus negative 4. Simplifying, 3 minus 2 is 1, and 5 minus negative 4 is the same as 5 plus 4, it's 9. So this straight line has a slope of 1 ninth. Once I have my slope in the form of a fraction, I bring it over and I use it for step 2. I'm using the same formula, but this time the m is replaced with 1 ninth. The point 2 position in the formula is just expressed with a y and an x. The minus signs are part of the formula, and then I have to put a point in the point 1 position. It doesn't matter which point I use. I'm going to use 5, 3. So the x was the 5, the y was the 3. I have now set up a cross multiplication situation. Top times bottom gives me 1 times x minus 5 equals. Bottom times top gives me 9 times y minus 3. This becomes x minus 5 equals 9y minus 27. The last step is to give the equation in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, which is one of the acceptable forms for the straight line equation. To do that, I keep my x where it is. I move the y term to, from the right of the equals to the left so it becomes minus 9y. I keep the minus 5 where it is. The minus 27 also moves to the left of the equals and becomes plus 27. And don't forget to write equals 0. Your equal sign still has to be there. Simplifying, all I have left to do is combine these two constant terms. So I have x minus 9y plus 22 equals 0. This is the answer. It is a valid form, ax plus by plus c equals zero, and it gives the equation for this line. My next example shows one of the different ways in which this question can be asked. Find the equation of this straight line. In this case, though, we're only given one point, but we're given the slope. Since the whole point of step one was to find the slope in the form of a fraction, and we already have m equals one half, we don't need to do step one. So this is actually easier than usual. Step two, we take our slope. We set up our slope formula. We put the y and the x in the first positions with minus signs. My y coordinate is four of the point I know and my x coordinate is three. So I plug those in and now I'm cross multiplying. Top times bottom gives x minus three equals. Bottom times top gives 2 times y minus 4. x minus 3 therefore is equal to 2y minus 8. And now I move everything to the left. x first, then minus 2y. The 2y changed signs because it changed sides. Then I put the minus 3 and then I put plus 8. The 8 also changed signs. Don't forget the equals 0. I have to combine my two constant terms. So my final answer is x minus 2y plus 5 equals 0. This is the equation for this line. 